Hey, Matthew. I just got home from the antenatal clinic and found a strange girl in our bedroom. She said that you hired her to be the housekeeper and she even brought clothes and belongings with her. What's going on? Why didn't you tell me first? Hello, honey. I had to rush to the company early this morning for an urgent job, so I forgot to text you. You're right. I hired that girl to assist you with the housework. With just three months left until you give birth, I didn't want to burden you with all the heavy tasks alone. But don't we already have Nanny Nancy to help us? Why do we need another person? Well, didn't Nancy retire recently? Now, especially during this crucial time, I want to ensure the safety and well-being of both you and the baby. I thought having additional help would be beneficial. But Nancy just took a week off to visit her family and she'll be back soon. Look, Carol, you know Nancy is getting up there in age. Her cleaning skills are far from up to par, and let's be real, her cooking just doesn't hit the mark. Sometimes it's plain boring. Other times it's like a salt bomb exploded. I can't stomach it anymore. That's why I think it's about time we let her go and find someone younger and more on the ball. But her meals are perfect for my pregnancy cravings and she's been by my side since I was a baby. I trust her completely to help us out with our little one once she's born. I'll feel super guilty if we send her packing. Well, if you're feeling all guilty and stuff, we could try giving her a raise to show our appreciation. But let's face it, she's getting up there in years, and it's high time she enjoys life with her own family, making memories with her kids and grandkids. It just ain't right for a 65-year-old to keep working her butt off far away from her loved ones, don't you think? That's a valid point. I haven't considered that. But why did you hire this new girl, and why is she staying with us in the same house? Oh, she's not just any random person, Carol. She was highly recommended by a close friend of mine. She used to work as a top-notch nanny for my friend's family, and did an outstanding job. I trust his judgment completely. And here's the thing. Her landlord suddenly decided not to renew her lease. It was a stroke of luck that she needed a new place to stay, and I thought it would be convenient for her to live with us. We do have Nancy's vacant room, don't we? I get that, but couldn't we just hire her on an hourly basis? I mean, having a stranger sleep in our house makes me uneasy. We could easily rent a motel room for her, just until she finds a new place. Think about it, Carol. What if you need something during the night? What if you have a fall or, God forbid, go into labor early? I don't want you handling everything alone. Besides, you know I'm no master chef. And what if I have to go on a business trip? Having her right here would be the best option for both of us. I have to admit your reasoning does make sense, but I can't help but think she's too young and attractive to be an experienced nanny. It just feels off. Are you serious? Do you think she's beautiful? Well, let me tell you something, my dear. To me, you have always been and will always be the most breathtaking woman on this planet. As for her qualifications, my best friend Bob swears she's the absolute best nanny his family has ever hired. On top of that, she has a background in medicine and chemistry, so she can whip up a menu that's not only nutritious, but mouthwateringly delicious too. <laughs> You're such a smooth talker. If that's the case, then I don't see a reason to reject her, right? Well then, let's give her a chance to prove herself in this job. Oh, that's great to hear. How did the pregnancy test go today? Is our daughter healthy? Yes, the baby is in perfect health. But I'm feeling so sleepy, Matthew. Maybe I should take a nap. We can talk more when you get home. Of course, honey. Get some rest and sleep well. Hey Matthew, I just got back home after spending a whole week at my mom's place and let me tell you, I am beyond shocked. Our house is an absolute disaster zone. It's like a tornado ripped through here and left chaos in its wake. The floors are covered in food containers, dirty clothes are piled up and left unwashed. The garden looks like a waste field with the trees on the verge of dying. And to top it all off, my stash of junk food has vanished into thin air. Where the hell is the new housekeeper you hired? I can't find a trace of her anywhere in this godforsaken house. Has she even bothered to show up and do her job these past few days? Whoa, hold on, baby. You're back already? 
I thought you were staying at your mom's until next week. I came back to grab some more clothes because my mom and I have a wedding to attend tomorrow, and guess what? I realized I forgot to bring my damn dress. But here's the kicker, Matt. Can you please tell me where the hell my favorite pink dress with the pearl is? I distinctly remember hanging it in the closet, but it's nowhere to be found. And it's not just that, so many of my clothes are missing. Even my makeup, cosmetics, jewelry, and perfume. Could there be a bloody thief running loose in our house? Why on earth would that happen? Can you just double check, babe? Maybe you missed something and they're hidden in the closet somewhere. Don't you dare patronize me, Matt. I've scoured every inch of this house and I can assure you my stuff is nowhere to be found. There's only one place I haven't checked yet, and I have a gut feeling about it. Wait a damn minute, I know exactly what happened. It must be your precious nanny who swiped my belongings and stashed them in her room. How dare she steal from me? And to make matters worse, she can't even do her damn job properly. I am firing her, no questions asked. Whoa, 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 let's take a step back here, my dear. Let's not jump to conclusions. It's not what you think. Mindy, she's actually been cleaning up after me. The messiness you see is all my doing, I confess. I devoured every last bit of the junk food you bought, and carelessly left the empty wrappers lying around. You know I'm a total disaster when it comes to keeping things tidy. And as for the garden, and as for the trees, a few days ago the weather forecast predicted heavy rain, so I thought if I watered them excessively, they might drown and die. So I specifically told Mindy not to water them. Are you kidding me, Matthew? You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe you caused all this chaos. This is ridiculous. So what about my stuff ending up in a room? Well, I actually asked her to take them. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you orchestrated this whole thing with Mindy behind my back? You plan to replace my belongings and make decisions about my appearance without even consulting me? How could you do this to me, Matthew? That pink dress is the first gift you gave me. I love it more than anything else, and you would just throw it away like trash? No, no, that's not what I meant, Carol. I just wanted to surprise you, to make you happy. I thought I was doing something special for you. You see, I thought those dresses wouldn't fit you anymore with your growing belly. I wanted to surprise you by getting you a whole new wardrobe. I always want the best for you, my love. And as for the makeup, I felt you didn't need too much of it especially since you're pregnant. Plus, they were about to expire. So I thought it would save us some money if Mindy used them instead. Are you telling the truth? That's the truth of it. Mindy is here with me because she has a similar body shape to yours. And I wanted her help in picking out new dresses for you. I was planning to keep it all a surprise. But I guess I had to spill the beans now. Oh my goodness, really? You wanted to buy me new things? You were planning to surprise me? That's incredibly romantic, Matthew. That was the plan. But it's all ruined now. I feel like such an idiot for making a joke that ended up making you angry instead of happy. Oh no, I'm the one who should apologize, Matt. It was all because I was in a rush and misunderstood the situation. Falsely accused that innocent girl. But they do seem quite close, don't they? I mean, you even referred to her by her name like that. Oh, there's no misunderstanding there. It's just that lately, I've been talking to her about how to take care of you and make you happier. She's been very friendly and enthusiastic in teaching me how to make you happy. Oh, really? You actually took the time to learn how to make me happier? Thank you, my dear. I don't know why I've been so hot-tempered, sleepless, and sensitive lately. Maybe it's because I'm constantly worried and suspicious about trivial things. I hope you're not upset with me, Matt. Oh, it's okay, Carol. I completely understand. But I want you to believe that I never did anything wrong, or intentionally made you sad. I know, Matt. Maybe I should get myself checked just to be sure everything's okay. Oh, there's no need for that. You understand it's just the hormones playing with your emotions during pregnancy. Don't worry. I won't take anything you say to heart. Thank you for always being there for me, Matthew. I should go now. My mother is waiting for me in the car. Carry on with your little surprise. <laughs> I also have a surprise that I want to share with you soon. Oh, you're making me so excited. Drive safely, my love. I love you so much. Matthew, I need the truth. Where were you last night? 
I woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and you were nowhere to be found. I searched the house and heard strange noises coming from the maid's room. Don't try to hide it anymore. Tell me what really happened last night. Last night? I didn't expect you to wake up. I thought you were fast asleep when I came back to bed. Why do you question my whereabouts? You know that pregnant women often have to wake up in the middle of the night. When I realized you weren't beside me, I became concerned. It's not like you to be absent from bed, especially since you usually sleep early. So when I went to find you, and that's when I saw the light and heard noises from Mindy's room. I deserve to know the truth, Matthew. Fine. The truth is, Mindy came to our room last night looking for me. Mindy? Why would she come into our room in the middle of the night? Her faucet was leaking in her room, and she couldn't sleep because of the constant dripping. She needed my help to fix the plumbing issue. That's the honest explanation, I swear. Then why did you come back to bed with your shirt inside out? What kind of plumbing repair requires you to take off your clothes like that? I... I was worried about getting my shirt wet while fixing the plumbing, so I took it off temporarily. I thought you would notice in the morning, and it might raise unnecessary suspicion, which could affect your well-being. Is that your explanation? It still doesn't add up. Just a few days ago, I inspected all the plumbing in the house when you took Mindy to the supermarket. How could it break again so soon? Maybe the plumbers overlooked Mindy's room. As for why you didn't ask me last night and waited until now, weren't you out having coffee with your friends? Your sudden distrust is unwarranted. Matthew, I'm not stupid. I'm not an overly jealous or paranoid woman. I'm simply considering the worst case scenario, where you and Mindy might be having an affair behind my back. What if I had stormed in, fueled by my suspicions, and it resulted in a harmful altercation? I felt vulnerable and alone. So I waited until I was certain you couldn't pose a threat before reaching out. It seems like you've been consumed by unnecessary thoughts and becoming increasingly paranoid. Have you been taking the tonic I got for you regularly? Yes, I've been taking it as prescribed, but I can't comprehend why I constantly have these thoughts of you betraying me or plotting harm against me. The symptoms, like persistent headaches and insomnia, are intensifying. Well, that means the medication is working. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's just a side effect causing these feelings. If you're experiencing such symptoms, it signifies that your body is responding to the medication. Maybe I should discuss with Mindy about adding more nutrients to your meals. It will help you feel better soon. Matthew, I can't shake off this feeling. It's more than just my imagination. I've noticed Mindy's hostile glares, her raised voice, and her strange reactions whenever we share intimate moments. There's something going on, and I can't ignore it any longer. I... I hadn't picked up on that. Mindy has always been kind and accommodating whenever I interact with her. It's difficult for me to believe she holds any negative emotions toward you. She goes out of her way to prepare those delicious meals for you every day. Perhaps it's all in your mind, Carol. No, Matthew. I can't dismiss the signs. They are real, and they are making me question everything. I trusted you both, but now I'm starting to doubt. How can you be so blind to it? I don't know what to say, Carol. I never noticed anything unusual between Mindy and me. But if it's causing you this much distress, I promise I'll pay closer attention from now on. I don't want our relationship to be clouded by doubts and mistrust. But now I really have to go meet with the client. This promotion opportunity is crucial for us. We'll continue this conversation later, once I've had a chance to talk to Mindy. What the hell is happening at home, Carol? Mindy just called me, crying and trembling, saying that you threw both her and my belongings out of the house. She described a scene where you had hired some intimidating men to surround you, making Mindy kneel at your feet. What is the meaning of all this madness? Oh, I knew it all along. <laughs> you must be feeling so sorry for your little mistress, right? But now, what should we do? I'll make her confess to your wicked plan and maybe... 
Give her a little taste of justice. A little peck on the cheek, perhaps? What? Mistress? Plan? What the hell are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? And what about those men Mindy mentioned? Are you the one who brought your mistress into our home? Let's stop playing this ridiculous game. Those men are my bodyguards. I had to spend a fortune to hire them for my protection. You know damn well that I'm pregnant. A vulnerable time for me. And since you always claim to want the best for me, I didn't think you'd mind if I used your money to hire some extra help. So where do I dispose of this disgusting trash from our house? What the hell are you saying? Are you secretly using my money? How? With the extra bank card you gave to your mistress, of course. I found it hidden among the pile of her belongings in her room that day. Considering all that she took from me, I thought it was only fair to reclaim a small piece, don't you agree? You're going insane. Put an end to these insane accusations. Mindy hasn't done anything wrong. How dare you degrade her by making her kneel at your feet. She's an innocent and naive girl. Innocent? Are you joking? Isn't it naive to willingly come here, assume the role of a servant, and live under the same roof with your lover's wife? just to be with your precious lover? Or perhaps it's naive to sneak into someone else's bedroom in the dead of night to indulge in an affair with another woman's husband. Is she truly innocent? Innocent but shamelessly poisoning the food she cooks for me every damn day? What the hell are you talking about? Seriously? Oh, you poor fool, Matthew. You think you're in control of this game? I've known about your affair with that bitch for the past three months. But I wanted to play along, gathering evidence and preparing for what's to come. What are you saying? You invade my privacy every night, going through my messages and phone? I've made sure there's no trace of any affair between me and her. Where's the proof to support your claims? Is it all just in your twisted imagination? Yes, you think you're clever, don't you? Deleting every message. But you overlooked one thing. The message section in the Buy It app. You are so cunning exchanging texts through an online shopping platform. If it weren't for that day, I used your phone to order something and accidentally stumbled upon your secret conversations, I would have never known the truth. Are you telling me that you've known about it since the day I brought Mindy home? So why did you pretend not to know anything and act? What's the matter? You two worked so hard to deceive me, plotting behind my back so I thought I'd give you a taste of your own medicine, keeping your enemy close. Right? And watching you both squirm, trying to hide your affair and concocting elaborate lies has brought me immense satisfaction and amusement. <laughs> now that you know, it's too late. It's been two weeks, and the pills have already infiltrated your food. They are potent hallucinogens that will drive you mad, making you question your sanity. In the end, you're just a pathetic loser. What's the matter? Am I portraying it accurately? The role of a pregnant woman tormented by delusions? Do you think I'm a talented actress? Because you believe that I actually consumed the drugs you gave me, turning me into a deranged psychopath, right? What? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, come on. Do you really think Nancy went back home? I had her tailing you, gathering evidence of your mistress's involvement in drug trafficking. She captured every moment of their illicit exchanges, including your secret traveling when I was away at my mother's. So I have never eaten a single meal prepared by your mistress, nor have I taken any of the medication you provided. On the contrary, I've kept those samples as proof, and the test results will speak for themselves, don't you think? But how is that possible? Mindy said you always finished your meals. I even witnessed you taking the medication in front of me once. You are unbelievably dense. I meticulously saved some of that food, and then I went to the bathroom and flushed them down the toilet. As for the drugs, when I was a child, I detested taking medication. I used to sneakily hide the pills under my tongue and spit them out. Little did I know that skill would come in handy now. This is absurd. You are fabricating lies. You are nothing more than a power-hungry control freak. Mindy is the woman I truly love. Why don't you just vanish from our lives and make the world a better place? It's you who should disappear. Remember when I mentioned a surprise? Well, guess what? I've officially initiated legal proceedings against you, armed with undeniable evidence. I have test results, 
photographs capturing your illicit transactions, videos of you and Mindy indulging in each other's embrace within the confines of my own home, and even a confession from your beloved mistress. Oh, and don't worry, I won't be demanding any alimony from you once her divorce is finalized. Everything, including this house, will be rightfully mine. Check mate. What on earth is happening? How is this even possible? Adultery is not a criminal offense. Your efforts are in vain. Oh, it seems you're blissfully unaware of the law, aren't you? Welcome to the state of Michigan. Did you know that the harshest penalty for adultery is a lifetime behind bars? And that's not all. I'm also suing you for conspiracy to harm others. And trust me, the punishment won't be light. No, Carol, please listen to me. It's all a colossal misunderstanding. I have no feelings for Mindy. She seduced and manipulated me. I tried to protect you from her, but she resorted to threats. I only love you, Carol. Please, trust me. Spare me your pitiful words, Matt. Save them for the courtroom. Oh, and here's an extra tidbit. I've sent the evidence of your crimes to your boss and all your colleagues. By now, they've all received it. Good luck with that promotion of yours. <laughs> Carol, please. I beg you to listen to reason. This is all a terrible misunderstanding. I've never betrayed you. Mindy manipulated the situation, deceived me, and took advantage of my vulnerability. The clothes you found were her doing, her twisted plan to replace you. I swear, my love for you has never wavered. I've always been faithful, even in the face of her relentless advances. Carol, I love you more than words can express. Don't let this destroy us. Give us a chance to heal and rediscover the love that brought us together. As the courtroom drama reached its climax, Matthew and Mindy's desperation grew palpable. They fought tooth and nail, attempting to convince the jury of their innocence, but the evidence against them was overwhelming. Witnesses testified to their illicit affair, presenting text messages, photographs, and even video recordings of their intimate moments. The prosecutor's closing argument was fierce and compelling, leaving no doubt in the minds of the jury about the malicious intent behind their actions. The judge, unmoved by their pleas for leniency, delivered a sentence that reverberated through the courtroom. Matthew was sentenced to 10 years in prison for adultery and conspiring to harm others, while Mindy received a seven-year sentence for participation in the illegal activities. After all the turmoil and heartache, I found solace and joy in the arrival of my beautiful daughter. The birth went smoothly, and our bond grew stronger with each passing day. I poured all my love and care into raising my child, watching her grow into a healthy and lovely little girl. As time went on, my strength and resilience attracted the attention of a kind-hearted and compassionate man named David. We crossed paths unexpectedly, and a deep connection quickly formed between us. David embraced my daughter and I with open arms, offering us a love that we had longed for. Together, we formed a new family, filled with laughter, love, and endless possibilities. David treated my daughter as his own, providing a stable and nurturing environment for her to thrive. We created lasting memories, sharing in the joys and challenges of life as a family. <laughs>